It's not unusual you to be mad with anyone. Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Max from SketchUp TV and we are here at a new episode about Principal. Principal just released a new beta which we will, which we will test right now because uh, the changelog of this beta says that we are now able to uh, import sketch files right into Principal. So I just downloaded it. You also find the download link down in the description. Make sure to um, save and back up all your principal and sketch files which you will be using in the beta because you can get like crashed data, crashed files and so on. And you see we have a new icon right here that says import and you have this little sketch uh, icon at the top. So we will just try it out. Clicking it means you have to have sketch opened. I have an icon, uh, an UI set right here. If I close it up, you see that it's just crashing. That's also probably a bug of the beta. Oh no, it's, it was just loading. You see, Sketch is not running. So you really have to uh, open Sketch and the UI kit you want to import to Principle. So here we have it again. Go over to Principle. Hit import and then select uh, the scale you want to have. So I just have it at 2x, import it. And that takes some time, not that long, with these three artboards. When it's done, right here you see we have all of our artboards in principle. All these files and images and so on that we had before. So let's just bring them in the correct order like this and now we are actually ready to go. You see that some of the layers are um, at the wrong uh, position in this uh, layer here, key right here. For example the text uh, folder is above our button so we won't be able to click the button in our prototype because this layer uh, that this group is above it so just drag it below like that and then you see we have this button clickable tapping it will bring us to this screen so we can already check that out you see it's working quite fine another thing that I uh, noticed is you have to be careful when uh, having the same uh, layer names so make sure your layer names are unique I think we can test this out when we make a transition from this to the first screen. Let's try it out. You see that the logo right here is flipping in somehow. I'm not really sure. You see that's not a nice effect that we want so we just go to this layer and we see that the name of this is page title and I'm sure we will have the same right here which is also page title and so maybe just give this another um, name like page title t 1 and the other is page title 2 or something like that. The best thing you can do is to already do this in sketch but we just do that in principle. So right now as I said I changed the title and you see we don't have this weird effect. So yeah as I said make sure the layer names are unique or yeah, give the layers that you want to have in your transition the same names. So this is actually a quite good example. So we just tested the sketch import function. There were also some other bug fixes and so on. But this is really the key feature of this new version that will be launching soon. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Well, not a really tutor real tutorial, but more of an in-depth look of the new import feature that I wanted to show you upfront before it is released to the public. And if you would like to see more of these videos, more videos about features of apps that aren't uh, public already, um, I will see what I can do about that. Just give me a thumb up 
or subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you!